Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we will deal with a new type of composite function derivatives where our function is a function of another function. What I mean is, is if we have fx equal y, this is our first function and we have dx equals z so the what we will do here is put the z here inside the brackets of the function so the function of y is a function of the function of z so we can write it this way y equals f of dx. This is what I mean by a composite function. So if we want to get the derivative of this function, what shall we do? Simply, we will if we want to get the y dash What we'll do is multiply dy over dz by dz over dx. And the dy over the dx is the derivative. The d here refers to the derivative. The derivative of y relative to z. And here's the derivative of z relative to x. And this obvious z, there's two ones go together to get the dy over dx. So this is the rule. Let's have an example to show it more clear. If we have y equal f of z equals z cube and we have z equal g of x where um, this function equals 2x squared plus 5x so these are our two functions in our problem so we begin with the general one the one which contains the two functions together the f of z we get the derivative of this function. So we have f dash z equals, we draw the three downwards, subtract one from the three to get three z all power two. So this is the derivative of our f z. What we'll do is substitute with this value directly in the z. So the derivative becomes 3 2x to the power 2 plus 5x all of power 2. So this is our dy over dz. Next we go to, to the second part of this problem where we get the derivative of this one. So, the g dash x equals, we draw the 2 downwards to get 2 by 2, get 4, and 2 and negative 1 gives the x. Here, we draw the 5, and 1 negative 1 gives 0, so we don't find the x. So, this is the derivative of the gx, and this also equals the dz over dx. So we have the dz, we have the dx. Finally, we will multiply them together to write dy over dx equals this 3 2x squared plus 5 all squared and 
5 x, sorry. We have here 4 x plus 5. And this is the derivative of our function. So what we do is get the derivative of the general function and substitute with the z value that we have. Then our first part is complete. The second part is easily getting the derivative of the z function, which is 4x plus 5. And just we multiply it by our expression. And we can just introduce the tree in the bracket to get um, 12x plus 15. To simplify it more. And this is our lesson. Then next time we will have another example on the derivative of the composite functions. Until then, I thank you for watching and see you next time.